peace and power. Welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Nuclear, leader of the United Nations of Next Nuclear. Again, welcome back to the next nuclear radio show. I am your host, Zireus Razus Nuclear, leader of the United Nations of Next Nuclear. So here we have for today's topic, recognizing our purpose now and next as bright minds. Again, recognizing our purpose now and next as bright minds. So moving along, we as this collective of minds, bright minds, we, we ultimately, ultimately at this point, we should see images of ourselves. We should see what our purpose is, what we need to do to extend this awakening, which is the soul force. That soul force is the ultimately that what you call the, you know, awakening phase or you know becoming so-called conscious but you know recognizing what we have to do you know recognizing our individual roles that we we play in acting as that vibration or frequency of that soul force you know us knowing what you know what we have to do to constantly extend ourselves each day we can't be doing the same thing each day it's more extension more extension i mean i would say not doing the same thing but repetition repetition of what we need to do to extend our abilities to extend our goal I mean, our um our individual abilities and um, i would say our powers our powers as a collective to you know ultimately draw in more of the lost you know lost of our brothers and sisters of the bronze race we are the light i keep saying that we are the luminaries um guiding them you know being able to separate them and you know, ultimately, you know, carve out that path so they can follow us. Because what are we leading into? You know, what path are we as the these luminaries ultimately um, trying to carve out to them, for them, and so forth? You know, what are we? What path is that? That path is next nuclear, next nuclear transmission, next nuclear ideas. Us as um, reception or receivers and transmitters, we see that. You know us pulling in ideas you know i was just uh, not too long ago um watching a live where a particular brother um you know brother kalai um kalai amun maat no kalai uh, uh, his name is kalai amun maat no kalai amun ra amat but check him out on youtube but this brother you know had a collective of um, other bronze people just like just like how I'm saying we have to come together we we know that purpose now we have to come together share our ideas we have to keep extending the minds of our people who are still stuck in that God spill believing in God believing in Yahweh believing in Allah believing in all these these fake deities who ultimately represent you brown sister brown brother that represents you the Krishna your your you know Vishnu all of these you know other um, you know, uh, nations, uh, deities, and gods, but they, you know, believe are their higher ups. But ultimately, it's you. It's, it's ultimately us. And we recognize that. That ultimately gives us more fuel, more energy to extend forward. When we can see that, that that's the, the commonality in all religion, that ultimately we're the foundation, which means we're the top at the same time because as above so below as above so below there's an actual movie like that i mean using the word as above so below but it you know references like the dimensions and how everything is flipped you know going you know below and then and, and so forth but we ultimately see what we have to do we're constantly extending us we have to extend each day is another day to extend each sunrise or each what y'all say grand rising is a um, another extension for us to carve out a further path for our children's children's children and their children's 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 children and so forth and ultimately making a better environment a utopia a utopia for us to all thrive in just with our people i mean people say but you're i'm a racist but you know fuck all the other races they don't care about us you know they they put their people first before us or any other race people they put their people first before any other race people and when we come to recognize and realize that that we the only one we got 
we the only ones we got now and next. You know, our purpose is to unite. You know, shed that ego. Like I said, you know, the death of the ego is the one thing blocking us back. And more things. You know, all these things when you recognize it, you know, people get mad at you and saying that, you know, your information is, is, is false, it's wrong because it doesn't fit their narrative. It, it doesn't, you know, make them ultimately, as far as what I'm saying, it, it doesn't make them feel good. You know, you know everything is not going to be, you know, necessarily, um, going to, you know, basically everything that certain people say to you is not going to like it. But at, you know, at the same time, you know, you have to break down logic. Use logic and rationale. You have to use logic and rationale ultimately to discern what, what's being said because there is truth. There is truth in many of, um, you know, these movies, you know, and, you know, what they're saying as far as in the politics, you know, I don't go into politics like I told you, but, you know, there's, you know, those subliminals they throw in there. There's subliminals they're throwing in there. And ultimately we we see that, you know, what what we recognize what's going on. We understand that this world is already over with. People are already dead. But we're just walking into um those scenes. We're walking into those scenes of the weeping in the morning and gnashing your teeth. Again, we're walking into those scenes in this giant live stage performance, this giant live um, you know stage that we're walking upon called earth called gaia you know mother gaia you know we're walking on her ultimately and we're we're performing our our goal our duty that we came down here for as bright spectrums converted into light spectrums we we come down here to spread intelligence to you know move things along instead of things moving in circles like one is a straight line zero is a circle we're moving from the from the zero to the one, or we moving from you know where we behind these so called circular people, the humans, and we're moving in first one 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 one, not one two one two one two one two. That's the alternate the alternating current one and two one and two. But we're on that one direct current, which is one, the straight line out of here, the straight path to ascension out of this format called two D and three D. You know, we're, we're trying to get out of Earth so we can explore and create more and, you know, be creationists ultimately. That's what we are, creationists. Creationists on a higher level. We are creationists. We created the planets. We created the planet, meaning we created the humans, the planets. We created, you know, just about everything that's in existence because in order for us, for things to exist, something living had to put it here. You know, think about it. When you create something like a, a, a you know computer, you know something intelligent made that computer. But everything that's intelligent here that we understand or understand to a degree, and the things we don't understand are ultimately created by intelligence, a different form of intelligence. We act as that intelligence um, in U N O N C. We we act as that intelligence in U N O N C. We act as that intelligence in U N O N C. And moving forward, now and next, we embody that in. It's just a lot of people can't see that now. <clears throat> they can't recognize what their true potential is. Their 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 minds are clouded with junk and all of this other you know nonsense that stops the mental evolution, the mental extension, the mental growth. We ultimately we, we ultimately have to see this because when we're constantly or we're going back and forth with our our brothers and sisters about you know who's right and who's wrong on facebook you know that's that's all that i see you know it's and well to a degree that's you know that's sometimes what i see but i'm seeing more and more growth and evolution and more people walking into themselves what i mean by walking into themselves i mean self-discovery you know self-mastery you know with all the things that we recognize that we must do to go forward you know self-discovery self-mastery, you know, understanding, try, trying to understand um, this higher intelligence that we're receiving and pulling in. We're always doing this, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through um, just being able to, like, like I said, in live and real time, being able to pull in these mental images, these mental pictures that guide us forward, that extend our thoughts. Because if you're not receiving pictures to extend your thoughts, then you're not a receiver. 
you know, a lot of these humans I mentioned, they get reception, they get pictures, but they have. It's what you say, it's fragmented. It's fragmented because they're not real people. They're part of us. They're part human. I mean, they're part animal. And, you know, they're part of us. So they're hybrids. These hybrids don't, don't get what we get. We recognize that. We see that. But you got people who are in their feelings. And see, that's the thing. When we recognize that emotion is our weakness, we have to let go of that weak shit. Emotion. You know, feeling sad because, you know, this brother might, might have died or passed away or because these humans are dying away. We don't care no more. We care about us because we, we come into a way or a frequency where it's all about self-discovery of our people. You know, unlearning all the lies and technology that was put in our heads in our earlier de de developing stages. You know, we have to unlearn all of that, that crap. That, those, those are all acting as mental blockages. Um, and that's ultimately what we have to, to do. And what we see is the best thing for us to do. And the only thing now that we have to do, because what else is it to do? So if you're not focused on making money or, you know, trying to, you know, become, you know, I would say comfortably, you know, trying to be comfortable in third dimension, you know, what are you doing? You know, I know what we're doing. We're, we're trying to raise the minds of our people. We're trying to extend, you know, we're trying to extend ourselves, which means extending our intelligence, extending our minds, you know, what's inside of our mind, you know, sharing um, our point of view because believe it or not we are collective and you know some of the ideas that we get that we bounce back from each other is through telepathy when we recognize that we do have gifts these special gifts telepathy clairvoyance psychometry you know being able to you know levitation levitational lift being able to actually levitate and you know being able to ascend in upper and outer dimensions when you're recognizing that and seeing that full-on picture in live in real time like even through all of the distractions here in this 2d and 3d world even through all of the you know the, these black distractions you know when it comes to people in your family you know we can still see past all of it and see how bright the future is we can still extend past all of this this these physical blockages whether it be people, like I keep saying, people in your family, it could be friends, it, it could be, you know, at this point, you know, it's hard for me to even say that, you know, I don't have friends, I have a friend, you know, and I, I got family, so, at, you know, at the same time, I consider that friend family, so it's like, you know, I don't have friends, I have only family, because I'm not on a level to, you know, be friendly, you know, we family, so I'm gonna talk to you like real, like family supposed to, you know, I'm, I'm gonna lift you up, we gonna lift each other up. We gonna have to do that because we have to become these diamond beings, hard, hard, and cold blooded, cold blooded. Because these times are only gonna get rough as we move forward. Crime is picking up all over and throughout the cities worldwide. You no know, mass hysteria is on a, on a high break. You know suicide, all this stuff. These these distractions. You know, and, and then on top of that, you know we we're having to balance out these ever-changing shifting energy on top of that you know we, we're doing this because we are the true mastermind we're mastermind we are the mastermind you know you know recognizing our purpose now and next as bright minds bright minds mean the masterminds we're mastermind we're mastering trying to master our um ourselves trying to master our what trying to you know master our objective trying to master our objective because we get a retry every single day that we are extended and every time that sun comes up we get a retry we get a retry to do more than we did the next day that's that's what ultimately gets us going and keeps us in continuous we get a retry we can retry if we messed up this day or that day you know we can keep going and try again and try 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 again but the frequency and energy of you doing it in repetition creates a frequency and it ultimately pushes you forward and it pushes the people that you want to include in that frequency forward. See, this is going above people's heads. This will go over the regular, you know, 2D and 3D people, um, thinking people's heads because it's, it's high frequency. It's high frequency. It's high vibration. And it's, you know, it's mentally altering and physically altering. 
you know, now and next. <laughs> one 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 one. You know, one forty four, one hundred and forty four thousand. Those collective of bright minds. You know, we are all channeling in. You know, even the ones who who don't see themselves. You know, they want to include the humans in this plan, but the humans don't can't go no further. They can't go no further than the third dimension. They're barred out because they're not real people. They don't have a connection to the source, to that that carbon, that melanin, what they call melanin. They don't have that connection to the carbon like we do, or to you know the cosmos. We have a connection to the cosmos. We have that connection to the cosmos, and they don't. We have the connection to the Anunnaki. They don't, which they refer to as you know God. You know, ultimately they trivialize. A collective of bright brown beings as G.O.D. God, and it even says in their particular book called the Bible that let us let us create them in our images. Let us us in our us in our means is plural, is not singular. Meaning let let me create them in my image. No, it's let us create them in our image our us the collective of these diamond bright bronze beings now and next recognizing our purpose extending people that we truly can see have brightness in them and even the ones who we don't think they have brightness in them you know you might not know you know you you posing the question might crack that you know that calcified pineal gland and it might make them become a receiver again you know, a lot of those people who are of the black mentality are just broken receivers. And they, they need to get that all spark back in put in them. They need that soul fire back in them. They need to actually feel what we're feeling and see what we're feeling. See, see, and see what we're seeing. Which means giving them that soul force. Giving them the raw and uncut message as messengers, as luminaries, as the authority as the supreme cosmic beings no there is no humans coming into the fourth dimension there aren't any humans extending into into what you say the, the um eighth and twelfth dimensions they're only stuck here in these third in, in the third dimensional realm of existence whether it's in what they consider space you know they're, they're stuck here you know they're considered the grays the gray race of people the gray race the grays that come down here um, and you know, abduct people, quote unquote. You know, that's that's them. That's them. But they're but they use ships supposedly. You know, we don't need no ships. We we recognize that we have the power. The power is within us. You know, it it the fact that they they exploit us so bad that it tell, that tells us right there we have the power. When you have the Asians, when you have the Indians, when you have the Mexicans, you got the whites trying to you know exploit us because of what power we bring. We bring the currency, which means money. We bring all of that in which they hold a high belief in. You know, their G.O.D. is gold, oil, and drugs, you know. Shout out Prodigy, you know, he passed away, but that's some real shit. Their God is G.O.D. or gold, oil, and drugs. You know, you know, I mean, on a, you know, elitist status, but when you go down to the middle class white person, you know, they believe in that G.O.D., white man, you know, Jesus Christ, all that, all that bullshit, them humans, they believe that shit, but we recognize that it's all false. That's false. We recognize that those ancient Sumerian texts and, you know, the you know, all these other books written before the Bible ultimately point to who we really are. As the God, as the Lords. We're not gods, but we're Lords. Lords and she lords and lordesses, you know. That that is us. We we embody that just off our chemical makeup, our molecular structure. Our DNA being supreme over everyone else's DNA, you know that's what it's, that's a reality, and you can't you can't sit up there and argue with me because I'm like look at you, look at me, look at us. Why why do you think they hate us so much? We recognize that the hate is because they can't be us. The hate comes from from them not having a connection with their neurons and you know knowing that those neurons are the responsibility as to why we have this what you call carbon coating on us our neurons are exploding that fire that brightness when you see our skin glowing and radiating when it's not all cracked up and fucked up because of the drugs and all the other shit that you put in your body that glow and radiance it's, it's like like staring into the damn sun all practically it is 
We are the sons and daughters of of these, you know, inky and alleles. These these what you say, gods of the earth and gods of the skies. Brothers and sisters, we all we that's us. We are them. We and we stand ten toes firm on that. And no one else can tell us different. Because we were, we're receiving the pictures, we're getting the connections every day. Our minds are connecting. You know, we're we're on that I say that that wave wavelength or frequency of the soul force that that all spark that is you know making us truly see us for who we really are and not as these dirty black niggers or these dirty black negroes that they paint us to be we're not any of that we're not black we're not that term black it's like writing yourself out of your birthright you're writing yourself out of your birthright and giving it to all these damn recessive, nasty, stinky ass humans. Whether you white, whether you Indian, whether you Mexican, it don't matter. They're not us. And we know that. They know that they know that we're not them. But you got your coon ass niggas that wanna lay with, lay up with them, sleep with them, have children with them, and then you produce a bunch of, you know, degenerate mulatto hy- hybrids. They can't ultimately get into the fourth dimension. That that's what it ultimately boils down. We recognize that. And people are gonna say, Why are you so racist? Why no, it's not racist. It's called being a supremacist, knowing who you are and not being changed, not being altered by the beliefs of recessive people, the belief of people who are young on this planet, the youngest beings on the planet, trying to tell us how to live, trying to tell us what our history is. But they still our history all the time, trying to be Egyptians, trying to be the, you know, trying to be any and everything that we attach ourselves to because we're powerful when we're not under their name, under their titles, when we change our names. That's why I've changed my name. Zireus. I'm no longer the name Nicholas. That that weak ass frequency name, Nicholas. Zireus. See how more vibrant and more bright that sounded? You know, brightness represents the sound or the the power, power, the brightness, the power, the intelligence that's coming from us. We see that, we recognize that. Now and next, <laughs> as these bright minds that's constantly extending, that's constantly burning the atmosphere with these carbon emissions, us heating up. Because the more that we, we take in these bright codes, the more it heats up. The more the planet heats up, the more the planet shifts upward. We recognize and see what's going on in other countries. All of these plagues, all of the, the, you know, these massive storm fronts coming in and just fucking shit up. We we see that. We recognize that. That's all because of what we what we willed, what we mentally manifested, and that's chaos and destruction of this fucked up ass system. We manifested this this um this shift. We put it out there. You know, all the years that we've done manifesting and, you know, it is, it's, you know, even though I made a joke about, you know, the fact that how can we have manifested these, these humans to go away, but, you know, I'm, it's happening right in front of our eyes. I mean, it's not happening at the speed that we think it should happen, but it's all for a reason. Because it's teaching us as we move on what we need to do, what we have to do to move forward and stop standing still or stop going in circles. We need to keep moving. When, we, when you keep moving, you don't have time to worry about any and everything that, you know, the so-called black people pay their attention or give their energy to. We're not focused on that. We're focused on the evolution, the evolution, the evolution of the mind, body, and soul of our people. We're trying to extend that every day by these podcasts, by YouTube videos, by, you know, my brothers on YouTube, brother, brother um, Kalai and brother Riz Morchette. You know, they're up there doing what they do, and as far as extending the minds of, of the people, whether it's just, you know, being these sky watchers, you know, we're working on a, you know, multi network as far as, you know, pulling in information, being able to see past the delusion, being able to see past all of this, all these um, distractions. The veil is gone. We, we mentally burnt that veil a long time ago, and we're stepping into what you say, uncharted territory uncharted energies that will upgrade us uncharted un like i said it's uncharted because we've never experienced it 
and it's awakening up our who we were before. It's making us receive our past lives, you know, images of our past lives, and you know, also the images of our future selves. That's that's what's happening right now. That's what that's what's happening right now in live time. You know, in live color, we're seeing that. You know, these daydreams aren't just daydreams. These dreams aren't dreams. You know, these dreams are getting more and more real. These dreams are getting more and more real. It's it's ultimately like, you know, when we go to sleep, we're we're traveling. We're traveling. We're tripping, what they say. You know, when you when you do, you know, psychedelics, you're you're tripping into another plane or another realm, another um what you say, place. We're tripping. We're tripping, meaning we're we're moving forward, you know, outside of the physical, but the mental you we're 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 tripping or ascending forward, ascending higher. You know, we're going, we're coming to a plane of existence where, where it's neutral ground, where everyone is in love or you know love that we know that we're brothers and sisters, and you know that that love basically they call it black love, but we call it bronze love. That bronze love, that that bronze soul force, the soul force from us, that connection from us, that ultimately gives you that warm feeling in your chest that that we together, that we're not enemies anymore. No, that's what we recognizing. That's that's the next. People want to hold on. People trying to our people want to hold on so bad to this. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to let it go. They don't want to let go of this artificial world because they've gotten so used to it. They've gotten what you say. They fell into the sunken place. They're so deep into the sunken place that you know there is no light. That's that's why they're called black people because they're deep into that sunken place within themselves. Or in this this world right now, to where it's just like they they can't see a future. They're only you know of a a day to day person. They're a month to month person, a year to year person. But they're not as far as um, in the community mindset. They're not a generational thinking people. We are the generational thinking people. We think about our bloodline. We're thinking about the you know what we have to do to get to that point of extending ourselves. I know a lot of people might have might have children already, but I'm on the path of that. You know, whether I have children here or not, I'm gonna extend regardless. Because my bloodline is too is, is strong. But the point being is we we have to see we, we recognize what everything is now. Why they fought so hard to stop us from getting to this point. Why they had you no know, culture clashes or countercultures when it came to, you know, us in the seventies, you know, you know, when it came to soul music in the seventies, they had what you call psychedelic music, which is a way for these humans to actually travel or see a glimpse of the fourth dimension. You know, they use those drugs to be able to get a glimpse. But we don't even have to use drugs to be able to see that. We could just go into a meditational state or a sleep or a daydream and we can we can go there. We can see what's behind the sun. We can see these other worlds. We can see these portals that open up. I've seen many portals open up in front of my eyes. People thinking it's just they up there spraying the sky for no reason, but there's portals being opened up all over the city of Las Vegas all the time. All these energy shifts. All you know, late at night, you up here hearing the police, police back and forth. You know, all these, these shootings and all, all this shit is happening because. This energy is disrupting all that's artificial and all that's fake. And it's bringing down real cosmic energy. It's raining down and it's fucking these people up. You know, I'll, I'll give you a story today. You know, I was at work and basically because I didn't want to wear my damn mask, I had to be sent home because, you know, there was like, it's a thousand dollar fine because you have your mask on. I'm like, if I told the person, my, my, my boss, or whatever, I was like, so if I die right now in the middle of the floor, would y'all pay for my funeral? Uh, here's what I, I'll say it again. I'll say if I die because of what you said, uh, the term asphyxiation and not being able to breathe, would y'all pay for my funeral? He said, it doesn't matter if you die or not. You still got to put the mask on. So many words. He said, well, you know, the fine and fee. That's exactly what they said subliminally. I don't have to, don't, they don't have to come out with it in truth. But we can discern them. They're phony and they're fake. These, these humans up there talking about putting on a mask. Oh, we recognize that they want us to be suppressed. 
You know, they don't want us to spit out that hot fire, that super hot fire. Spit out, to spit out that damn lava that's gonna melt their face. Cause it's, it's so real, it's so real. We in the wrong place to be real right now. And, it, and it's killing these people. We recognize that we are in the wrong place to be real right now. People can listen to this all the time and, and have their, their thoughts, but it's too real. It's too real to be made up. It's too real to be alive. This is real transmission. Hello? It's too real. It's too real to be considered lies or made up. People are only saying that it's because they, because it, it, it's touching them. They're affected. They're being affected because it's altering them. It's, cha- it's changing them or it's evolving them or changing them for the greater good or for the bad. Um, you know, it's, I'm telling you, it's, we recognize what we have to do, but it's the, it's just the, you know, I, I, I'm not even going to say it's, it's but or ands or it, no. The problem really is the motivation, the motivation. There's no motivation and, you know, there is motivation, but to continuously see the motivation, to continuously see the bigger picture, it can be hard sometimes. Sometimes you might want to give up, but giving up means that that's death. You know, that, that's the only alternative. When you give up, you just chose to die. When you push forward and fight forward through all, through all of this, then you're living. You're living because you're living to see another day. You live to fight another day, to extend forward. You live to see another sunrise. I count them sunrises. I record the sunrises because they're important. They signify evolution they signify what's coming to us it gets brighter and brighter when you can stare into it and and your eyes don't burn no more when you can stare directly into the sun at midday and your eyes don't burn that's we we are of the sun the sun people not the moon people we recognize who we are we recognize where we stand as bright people but we don't know we know we can't speak for the black people and we can because we once wasn't and we had their mindset it's just like now we just ultimately do it put things in action like i mentioned before on youtube be frequency be frequency be the energy that you want to be in your mental space or physical space be that energetic energy be those those um, ever-moving molecules in a gaseous state form. Be energy, be frequency. That's what we recognize as it. It works that way. When you can extend yourself, that means that you're amorphous. You can extend in all directions, in all spaces, in all times, in all places, in all dimensions, and so forth. We know that. We see that. That is, is... I wouldn't say that's not the conclusion, but that's the reality. That is the reality of us. That is our reality now and next as the bright minds, as the luminaries, because our minds will ultimately, you know, within the physical, as we're retaining more and more information, excuse me, our bodies will reflect that, the intelligence, the brightness. Our bodies will ultimately be filled up with all this cosmic radiation, all that plasma, and thanks to Brother Remedy H, because I know Remedy H, um, Brother Sima, spoke about the plasma today. But it makes sense. We're all receiving on on different levels and different channels, but it's all the same frequency as the bronze. We're bronze. We're bronze people. We feel that. We're in connection. We're tapped in. We are tapped in. We are tapped in. You know, it's to the point now where man, oh man, oh man, every day, every day is so surreal. Different experiences to to give us dimension, to give us um, that toughness. You got to be cold-blooded, cold-blooded chaotic, cold-blooded chaotic beings because that's our survival. Because nobody wants to fuck with a crazy black man or a crazy so-called bronze man who's intelligent. And who and, and trust me, and would be would be happy to kill the motherfuckers. We'd be happy to kill these people right now. Easily. Slaughter every last one of them. Babies, all of them. 
if we have it and that's what it takes for us to evolve hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah kill every last one of them and even kill the black folks that are with them too because they ain't no better we can slaughter them just like that we recognize what our purpose is this is raw and uncut but this is real it has to be real every day there's a shift every second every hour in the universe as above so below as above so below as above so below there's this shifting happening and we have to embody that shift we have to be the shifting energy that draws these humans away from us get away from us leave us alone i'm telling you it's we we have to do this we recognize our duty as the luminaries we're raising our people up and we're ultimately guiding them we're we're the guides all the, all the people that you know I try to impact every day I try to inspire every day it's not because I'm trying to get popularity it's not because I want the fame and fortune no because I get happiness I get bliss when people are raising their minds especially my people my people when I can inspire people when I can inspire my brother and my my bronze brother and my brown sister when I can touch their hearts when I can touch their mind, when we can touch their hearts, when we can touch their mind, it's a beautiful picture. That frequency is 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 enamoring. It's usakushi, like the Japanese say. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> because it's concrete. It's real. It's beyond real. Like I said before, we we are in the wrong place to be real right now. And these humans are hating it. They hate our guts. They know we're putting out and spewing this radiation by way of our voice and frequency. Just what we're saying right now. It's that hot fire. It's that lava that's going to burn their throats. You know, we spitting out at them and they can't take it. I mentioned that I, I, I know it's, it's not even the fact that I had to go home from work. I don't fuck work. I don't care no more at this point. We don't care no more about work. It's just a thing we have to do to basically survive in this world at this point. But... You know, these humans are getting so pissed off at us. They up there just they're they're triggered by any and everything that we do. They're they're triggered by our happiness. That they're, they're triggered because you know they they can't be us. You know they have no connection to anything. They they have to use drugs to escape. They're what you call you know that that term escapism comes from them. They they have to escape by taking DMT, by taking shrooms, by taking acid. They they have to escape this world because they can't take it. They can't take the world that they're pretty much ruling. So they got to do cocaine. They got to do all these drugs, are artificial, except I mean, shrooms is a natural plant. But besides the other, besides, you know, the other ones that they create, you know, they have to use these artificial drugs, these, these you know, these artificial um, means to ascend or see in the future to basically see on higher levels than what they can see now because they're barred, they're creation. That's like an animal being able to, you know, astral project. Like, fuck is fuck is wrong with y'all? Seriously, these these animals can't astral project. They claim they do, but what do they do when they astral project? What do they produce? What do they bring forth? What's their purpose when they astral project? I ask that to anybody. When you're trying to travel and astral, what are you doing? What purpose do you serve astral projecting? What are you doing? Ultimately. We, we, we recognize as a collective these dominated the dominated well I would say dominated plasmatic beings or dominated plasmatic bronze golden beings we, we recognize what our true potential is our true potential is eternity eternity an eternity of prosperous living wealthy living extended thinking extended living Raising up our beautiful children in a utopia of other bright bronze men and women. And creating more and more powerful bloodlines that will rule to eternity and beyond. To rule in eternity and beyond. That's what it ultimately is for us to do right now. To come together right now. To start that. To be the pioneers. Those trailblazers with that. Our great, 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 and so great support will look back and be like, Damn. So 
This is why things are where they are now, because they were the ones that made that evolutionary jump, that jump to get out of the circle and not continue that circle. They're going to thank us. They're going to, we're going to be what you say in a, a mural. They're going to be looking at us as those, those bright bronze beings or kind of like how the human sees us now as those gods. But we're going to all also be lords and so-called gods in that time period. But just knowing that you know in this lower state we managed to you know fight through all of that mental distractions all of that you know mental dead weight that plagued us before we fought through all of that and we still managed to create that different vibration that new next nuclear vibration in the atmosphere that ultimately altered everything in third dimension and lower that's us that is us now and next as these bright minds and you know people can sit up here and listen to this and you know it, it is what it is you know we we know who we are we are extending more and more each day just being able to you know do what we can do now see what we can see now it's it's fueling us it's the motivation that that's that's all the you know motivational energy that we need to move forward knowing that it's for the babies it's, it's, it's for our children that have yet to be born yet for me and others and so forth and you know it's it's for them we're laying the foundation down for them to carry it forward after we go after we go because after we go we're being born back into the foundation that we put forth now again when we go we're going to be born or you know, pro manifested forward into that foundation that has ultimately evolved from what it is now. We're going to be able to do that. But that's just what naturally happens. We get recharged, we get purified, and come back into a more extended um, version of ourselves. That of it, that I would say that after image, that brighter image of ourselves. That's ultimately what it is. And we we recognize that. You know at this point in, in our lives or just at this point in time in what you say uh history i'm gonna say history but you know in this present time we let's just say like this we have to keep moving forward i'm going to keep saying that it's repetition keep moving forward keep moving forward keep moving forward keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Just burn that in your head. Don't be stopped by these people. You know, nothing that these humans could ever do to you, even in the physical to the point where it's, it's physically killing you. They can't stop the energy. They can't stop the frequency. They can't stop the vibration that the energy that you have within you resonates off of. They can't capture that. They can't hold it. It's because it's not physical. It's, it's not physical. Or, you know, in an aspect that you can capture energy. You can't capture lightning in a bottle. You can't capture lightning in a bottle. That's, that's, that's what they tell us, you know, that, that saying, you know, you can't hold or house energy, you know, because eventually it, it's going to break through. Like we did, as we, like I mentioned, we, we broke through that box, that mental box that they have over us. So we can never see the, the brightness. They did that so we can never see the brightness. And it's we we broken it. It shattered into a million trillion pieces. And now all the brightness that they try to, you know, shade their people from and us from is killing it's killing them, but it's it's evolving us. It's extending us more and more each day. We are being extended. We are being purified recharged ultimately when we go to sleep we experience partial death partial death because in a way you know what do you think happens when you when you actually die you know we don't really die we just go to another place we go to a different extended plane what they would call heaven but that's a farce Heaven is just, you know, that primitive idea and thought that these humans put inside of, you know, low thinking or low vibrational 
black people in these humans' heads or in their minds so that they can have, what you say, a, that acts as their, their higher, what you say, a, a upper, upper purpose or higher purpose, you know, it, it gives them motivation, you know, believing in lies and false, falsehoods, that's what fuels them as the humans and as these black people. They are fueled, they are fueled by falsehood. And we recognize that everything that they try to give us or tell us is falsehood. Excuse me. It is, um, we discern through all of it. We discern through all of that. We discern, we discern through all of that, the stuff that they taught us in school, you know, and we've been able to connect what they taught us partially which was true and we began to extend that and expand on that you know, with things that they left out and didn't teach us we, we ultimately was bright enough to you know see it we were ultimately able to you know extend our minds into a place that's not in the physical time and space right now because thoughts you know like I said when we able to you know see these pictures and thoughts in our head receiving thoughts in our head you know, it's, it's coming within an in, instantaneous like that. It comes instantaneous, like snapping your fingers or, you know, blinking your eyes. It's, it's instant, you know, just like that. But we, we know what we have to do. We know what has to be done, you know, but you're going to still have the ones that, that are going to fight, but they can't fight the nature. They can't fight the nature of the soul force. They can't fight Mother Nature and what's going on. These humans try to fight the Mother Nature by, by spraying the skies, by trying to cause, you know, this organized chaos and confusion, you know, fracking, you know, trying to ultimately shift, you know, destroy the planet in the first place. They're saying, oh, we got all these national wild conservat I mean, conservatories or, you know, nature conservatives, you know, I mean, nature places over there, you know, trying to, you know, save what's left of the wildlife that they, you know, murdered and, you know, pillaged, all of that stuff. They, they trying to save what's left. They're trying to save what's, what's left. All the trees they didn't cut down, you know, all these things that were nature, natural to this planet, you know, they, they've ultimately destroyed it because of who they are. Unstable, unnatural beings. We recognize that. And if you do recognize that right now, if you do recognize that, why are you still associating with them? Why do you still get mad when people like me say fuck the humans and fuck the white people and fuck the Mexicans and fuck the Asians and fuck everybody that's not us? Why do y'all get mad at us for that? Hmm? I ask you that question. And you know, put the put it put comment comment and you know, comment down on Facebook. Why? Honestly, tell me why. Y'all are so, y'all Y'all want to include everybody in y'all future when they're not supposed to be in your future. Your future is for you and whatever soulmate you find. And y'all children, it's not, it's not included for these humans to go any further because they're not needed anymore. They are not needed anymore. They're not necessary anymore. They're irrelevant to the fourth dimension in any, any higher dimension or an outer. They're irrelevant. They're so irrelevant it's to the point now that they, all that they can do is just fight and fight and fight and fight and kill and kill and kill and cause confusion and more confusion after the next. That's all they can do. Fighting, you know. Like I said, that last vibration of the human race, you know, that, that cry, that, that, you know, that SOS, when they fired at that damn flare gun in the sky, that represents them. That last hope of survival. And they ain't gonna survive shit that's coming in the next couple of months. They ain't gonna survive none of that shit. Every last one of them. Dead. Dying. Or looking for us to help them. And we're gonna say, fuck you all, because we needed help. Y'all didn't y'all didn't extend a damn hand to help us. Y'all looked at us as trash and shit on the damn sidewalk. Y'all didn't give not two dams about us. So fuck you all and y'all can die. Die by yourselves, perish by yourselves, because we're extending every day. And this, this is a, a supreme talker. I'm talking not out of emotion, but out of out of my heart and soul. My my soul is telling me to go like you do this. You know, 
our children are telling us to do this. Our children, children, are, you know, being able to, you know, connect to your higher self is awesome. We, you, it's awesome. We, you talking to your future self or your children's children and so forth and into that further extended bloodline. You're in transmission with your higher self, which is your extended bloodline into the future. Our extended bloodline, which they will call, which we recognize as the Anunnaki, the Niteri, the, the, um, the Amin being, those are our people. That's the only logical reason why we're awakening right now because they're contacting us. They want us, you know, this energy is coming down here. This shifting is happening because it's time for us to rise. It's time for us to ascend. It's time for us to evolve. You know, we, we had all this time to be beaten down, broken. That, that was just for us to become stronger in times like this and in times that are coming forward. To be beaten down, to be spat on, to be lynched, hung, all those people that he sacrificed for us to get here. Yes, it was necessary. It was important that it happened because if it didn't happen, this picture wouldn't be able to basically live on. This picture of us as these bright beings would not be able to live on. You know, it, it all had to happen. You know, all of those different elements that, that played, that came into, you know, play, that came into effect, we, we recognized that was what led us to this point now. What happened through our bloodline, our past bloodline, to, to get where we got here now. Everything happened for a reason. Everything happened, it happened for a reason, and we recognized that as the, you know, recognize that as our purpose, being able to, you know, guide, guide our people, guide the ones that will listen, guide the ones that are in, you know, seeking this next nuclear transmission. They're seeking it. They're seeking it because they know that a lot of these younger people, their parents can't tell them anything because they're limited. Their grandparents can't tell them anything. I mean, they can tell them a lot more than what their parents can, but even still, they're limited because there a lot of their thoughts and ideas come from the general population, that recycling being of third dimensional thoughts and teachings and practices. It's like that's that's all that it is. Whether it's in religion, whether it's in you know politics, whether it's in you know all the things that they these humans and so-called black folks hold value to, and, and and give energy into. So, you know, we we ultimately see our purpose. We ultimately, we ultimately see our our purpose um, now and next as these bright minds, these these luminaries, because our like I said that that light bulb going over our head, <laughs> this idea, this thought, this intelligence to guide us forward. You know, this is better. Me me doing what I'm doing, it's it's more enjoyable than watching TV. I don't watch TV anymore because it would pull from my reception. When we stop watching TV, when you stop trying to, you know, buy into all of this shit in the third dimension, you become a full-on live and color receiver and transmitter. 